Hey guys, it's Tiff back again and it's the last Saturday so you know what that means. It's all about the You, Me, Same 3 collaboration. If this is your first time joining us, then this is a collaboration between myself and Mickle Nay, Michelle, over on her channel. We use pretty much the same three items to create a unique piece of mixed media and it's really fun to see how different or similar our projects are. So today's three items comes from Miss Lisa Monconduit and she is uh, I believe Creative Menagerie on um, Instagram. So make sure you go check her out. So I am squishing and the journal I was showing you there is actually um, the new class that I have that comes out this Monday called Scrappy Soul Book. I will be doing and creating this journal uh, for that class and this was one that I've had for many years and was kind of the springboard um, for the Scrappy Soul Book class. So if you're interested in that it will also be linked down in the description. But back to what I'm doing. So I have these um, painted papers that um not painted paper excuse me she gave us marble paper which is painted she gave us these um paints samples and then she also gave us the um what do you call those slides so those are the three items that we're both using so i decided i wanted to grunge my um paint samples up and that's why I squished them all together wrinkled them up really good and so I woke up with this idea which doesn't happen very often I typically do not have any idea what's going on until I get in here but I did wake up with this idea um, on kind of how I wanted to use uh, some of the elements here and I really like overall how it came out. However, there was some learning opportunities. One of the things that I learned was that this paint uh, swatch is very resistant to anything I threw at it. So I decided to grab the clear gesso. And if you've ever worked with clear gesso, it reminds me of a cat's tongue. I know that's so weird, but it's really sandy and texturized, but you don't lose the color that you have. And also, shout out to Lisa. Thank you very much for um, giving us very color, like a color palette. Because sometimes it's hard to pull all the colors together. But I really like all the shades of pink. Go pink. Y'all know I'm team pink all the way. So anyway, I let the uh, clear gesso um, dry. And then I came back and I went in with, um, you saw I did the little distress. Um, stains to see what may happen. I'm going in here with some white gesso just to try to give a little definition. If you don't know my work on faces, I also have a class for that, but I like loose, freestyle, quick, fast, messy, wild thing just I like me some wild thing faces y'all so <laughs> um that is exactly what I'm doing here I'm just using the stabilo to kind of guide me along the way and um yeah everything else you know is just I'm just letting it go willy-nilly now what I will say is hindsight's 2020 you know they say I can tell because I put the clear gesso over some of the stabilo that it actually all of the stabilo didn't move now, what you're going to notice is in these next two girls, because the reason I did um, the marble paper as one is because just from an aesthetic point of view, it's easy to use um, and do with odd numbers. So that's kind of why I wanted to create three faces. And so you can notice on that first one that that stabilo kind of stay put because we put or I put the clear gesso over it a little bit. And here you're going to see that it's going to get up and jive a little bit. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with a little joking and jiving. Okay, that's not what I'm saying, but you will notice that it got a little wild and crazy. All right. So in my face class, I show a lot of different um, options and um, I always seem to forget the eyebrows. So I had to go look and put the brows on. Y'all know brows is a big thing right now. If you got your brows, your Frida brows or your thin brows. And anyway, it's not about that. So you notice that I do stick my water, um, 
my paintbrush with water into my, um, di no, not dilutions, Tiffany. It is my Distress ink pad. I'm just, you know, I'm freestyling like that. I just see what happens. I didn't love it. I don't hate it. It did add a little bit of color, but you never know what's going to happen until you try it. So, you know, I'm just going with it. So, I'm just making some very loose, wild thing faces. Okay, still don't really know for sure, for sure, um, exactly what the dynamics of this page, um, you know, really mean. But it is going to come to me, and we're going to get to that part here in just a minute. So, I love these colors um, that Lisa, I'm not a huge fan of red. We all know that. But I really do like um, the red and the pinks and the yellows that she uh sent us and it was really fun to work with these. I enjoyed making this page um, and I was totally surprised when I woke up with a little bit of inspiration and kind of ideas to what I wanted to do with it. So I just kind of let it go. And again, each time that you see me with that paintbrush, it is typically a little bit damp. Um, just to get the Stabilo moving. Now, if you have another water-soluble pe um, pe pencil, use it. Um, that's just what I have on hand, and that's what um, I'm using to get uh, the job done. So now we have three beautiful ladies, or very unique ladies, I'm not sure. But uh, this is my book and journal um, that I used as the inspiration to the Scrappy Soul book that I talked about. I actually started this journal many years ago. And when I was looking through it, I realized that I actually had a few pages that still needed to be completed. So why not grab it, get it out, and let's use it. So I'm going to use um, this, you may remember in the jelly printing video that we did not too long ago, and I always say we, but I actually did the work. Did y'all? I don't know. I give y'all credit sometimes when I don't even know if y'all did anything with it or not, just saying. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down that Uhu glue stick, and this is actually a brown paper bag, if you recall, um, in that video. I probably will not even remember to link it, so I'm not going to lie to y'all like that so if y'all want to see it go watch it <laughs> and so I'm just gonna glue these three chick chicks down and just trying to decide on kind of where 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 should they go and I decided to add a little masking tape actually I don't even think you see the masking tape at all once it's completed but just for some added security, I just love masking tape and how versatile it is. And we actually use it again at the very end, I do believe. So it's a versatile thing that you can actually use. So now what in the world are you doing, Tiffany? Well, girl, I'm so glad you asked. I am getting another piece of that um, paper bag. And I really love craft paper. I just love the color of it. So I'm going to scrink crinkle it, sprinkle it, whatever you want to do. I'm going to mess it all up because I like it like that. And I'm going in here with my Distress inks and the little pad and it's going to shake. Y'all don't get drunk on me. Shay, shay, shay. Shay, shay, shay. Shake your booty. Yeah. Hey, it's Friday, guys, when I'm doing this voiceover, and it has been a long week, and I have not had any adult beverages before the recording or filming of this. Just it's just a fine print. So if you're still hanging with me, you can see that I am just going to town on this thing, y'all. Just putting it all, just just grunging it up, okay, because I like the grunge, so, and I also like the texture in which the um, crinkling it up does, wrinkles it up, and then it just adds an additional texture, layer of texture, okay, now what I didn't think through was how cool the background with the jelly print was, and I'm about to cover it all up. So I'm going in here with the Uhu glue stick, and I'm just getting mostly around the edges of the faces. Okay, I'm not putting the glue stick over the um, 
the faces, but I am getting it around the edges. And then I'm also using that little scraper tool there just to kind of secure everything down and kind of get it all good and zhuzh down so that um, it's making good contact with the paper up under it. And then what we got to do? Well, Tiffany, I'm so glad you asked. We got to work on our third piece because we've got three things to use. So I took out the one of the negatives that was in that slide. Okay. So kind of my thoughts were, I thought that I would use um, a word in that um, text. I couldn't find anything. So since I had already used the marble paper for the face, it technically has been used, so no worries there, right? So I just gave up and kind of stepped away, and I'm going in now with water, and I'm going in with the bamboo, sc bamboo skewer. It doesn't have to be a bamboo. You could use anything you wanted to. Just had a point on it, and what I'm doing is I'm actually just wetting it to the top layer of that paper bag to expose those chicks that I did earlier, okay? So you follow me so far. So it looks like they are breaking through or, um, you know, actually coming from the background. And I love how the torn paper, I've talked about it many times, I love how torn paper just adds that extra thing. And if you're thinking to yourself, girl, you just told us you haven't even had no adult beverages and here you are bringing out the moonshine container, baby cakes, that has got some coffee in it, instant coffee. However, it really wasn't getting as dark and rich as I wanted to. So I opted to grab my Lyra graphite water soluble pencil and because I wanted the edges of them breaking through I wanted it to be dark and kind of like you know them pushing pushing into or tearing back from um and I thought that it just needed something a little darker and a little more grunge and that's what I got with the Lyra graphite water soluble crayon and then I decided it needed some splats so I'm splatting all around splat 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 and just kind of zhuzhing that dark grunge around the edges and if I were um thinking ahead I probably would have put like deli paper behind it but apparently I really liked it you saw me like doing the thumbs up that's always a good sign whenever my hands are moving and I start randomly dancing, singing, or giving you thumbs up sign, that is a tip tip that I'm feeling what is happening here. So, let me catch my breath. Oh, this is such a good page. I really enjoyed it. And so now we have these three people, okay? I told you that I could not find anything in the marble paper that really just spoke to me and kind of told me the story. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take the Stabilo um, white pencil and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add and just kind of define some of the eyes and some of the expression on the face. And when I was doing this, I realized how all of these expressions of these people are very unique and different, just like all of us, right? And then I was thinking, huh, I wonder if I can find in one of my books, I'm going to do um, the, uh, just color their eyes a little bit, and then I'm going to do green on the other one. But I found the word reflections, and you're going to see um, how it comes about. And I'm taking my red, um, what is this? I think it's ink tense pencil, and I'm just going to make some scribbles and scratches since we had some red in that marble paper. And one of the things that I was thinking about as I was going through here was, um, the reflections of the past few months and some of the moods, some of the things I can look back and go like, wow, we've lived through some serious changes in our lives, okay? And so I really just wanted to capture that moodiness that we've all been through um, in all of these changes and things of the quote unquote new normal, right? And so I'm going to take that slide and I'm actually going to take, this is a piece of just plastic, um, 
it's, I don't know what you call it, but it's where you can put like little goodies or um, maybe like if you're sending somebody happy mail or maybe um, if you're selling a piece of artwork, that clear sleeve. Clear sleeve, that's the word I'm looking for. All right, and so I found the word reflections in my large font book. I'm going to take... And actually, because I had the holes on the edges of this, there was only two holes, but I just wanted to add a little bit of texture. So I'm taking this gray thread and I'm just kind of stitching and moving it back and forth and just creating a little something that will kind of bring your eye up um, to that area of the page as a little, just a little extra pizzazz. Y'all know I like a little extra pizzazz. So, I took the Uhu glue stick. I um, glued the word reflections in there. And now I'm going to glue um, this with the Uhu glue stick is not going to hold it, guys. So, what I did was I'm getting the tacky glue. Y'all, that tacky glue, I'm going to tell you, people that use tacky glue on the regular, just sidebar conversation because y'all know how I roll. Y'all got some serious hand strength. Y'all, that bottle don't play. That bottle don't play. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so now I had a little ooze because I'm not very, very neat when it comes to doing much of anything. But now it's dry. Boom, boom. And so you see how the uh, little top corner right there, I thought it would be neat. So I'm going to go in again with my hand strength and glue it down with tacky glue. Up in the corner, it's going to say the word reflections. And I am just tickled at how it turned out. So I hope that this video has um, inspired you to try something new, do a little something different. And uh, I am going to take the masking tape and cover up the letters of this particular slide. I thought it was distracting to my eye. But thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday. I hope that you will just run on over. You don't have to walk. You, I mean, you don't have to run. You can walk right on over there or click rather um and check out michelle's video and let's see what she did with her three items i'm interested to find out how she used them and until next time guys i'll try to remember to link all the things that we talked about today in the description and until next time to live